Oh, it's Project Matter, and uh, we have with us today another guest, um, David Atherton, who's um, you know been described by the Daily uh, Mirror as a half-assed Jeremy Clarkson, um, and he's a former contributor to Breitbart London. Welcome, David. Thanks for taking the time yeah, to uh, join us. That's very kind. Thanks for inviting me on, and uh, thanks to Nick for arranging it all for us. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to Nick for that. Um, so yeah, we want to discuss um, indoctrination, the indoctrination of our children. Um, first yeah. of all, um, David, do, do, do you think it's happening? Do you think oh, there is an indoctrination? No, I, there is no that? doubt. There is no doubt. There is a certain action by, by mainly socialists and Marxist um, activists who are generally paid out of the public purse, whether it's teachers or or, uh, or lecturers or wherever it may be, to bring their worldview to people, to, you know, to the children of this country. Mm -hmm. And you know, there was a school, a school in Brighton, where a third of people were, were identified as, as being LG, uh, being transgender or whatever. This is just ridiculous, you know. Um, but, you know, when it comes to you know, when it comes to imposing your ideology on children, that is just indoctrination. It's entirely wrong. Yeah, totally. I mean, you, well, you just mentioned that about that school, but if you see the the headlines recently, there's a school in Brighton, um, actually that they banned the words yeah. mum and dad. <laughs> you, you could have made well, it up, you know. Yeah, you, you you really couldn't, you know. You know no, but, but but you know, by 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 biological definition, everyone 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 has a mother and a father by by biological definition, you know. And you know, and whether you got two dads or two mums or they swap roles or whatever, it's irrelevant, you know. You know, you still have a mum, you still have a dad, you know. It's you can't, you're catering for a minority of people in that, in that classroom, and you know. Is, personally speaking, I think it's all about the destruction of, of the fa of the family unit by the far left. Yeah, I totally agree that they're trying to break down the uh, nuclear family unit. They've been doing it for a while now, haven't they? And, um, they have indeed, yeah. I think with the, um, you know, especially with, with this, this gender bending stuff, and uh, we were just talking just before um, this yeah. video, I was saying a friend of mine, he's, he's um sister now, is um identifying as a male. Um, she's a young teenager. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just absolutely shocking what's going on out there. You, I mean, you, you know, when you were at school, you know, would you have got away from that? You know, in amongst your peer group at school? Probably, to be honest, the school I went to, you probably would have got beaten up. Um, right. That, yeah. but, but you shouldn't do that, but uh, yeah. I do take your point. There, 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 there were, you know, teenagers at school, right, from a comprehensive I went to, there was a strong desire to conform to sort of the peer group norms. And if you sort of went away from that too much, you know, you you would rather be bullied, or as you say, you know, you probably probably would uh, you, you might get might, might get physically assaulted for that. Yeah, it's um well, you, we we were we were just um discussing as well before, Rad. You say about you know the, the the teachers and that you know they get them paid, um you know basically to educate our children and they're, and, and they're indoctrinated. Yeah, them. yeah exactly. Um, you know, yeah. What, what what do you think can be done? How, how, what do you think? How could this be tackled? I think it's like it's like what they've done in in America with the critical race theory in schools over there. You as a teacher have to get in, you know have, you know have to form groups. You have you have to get active. You have to get get your Facebook organised. You know and your Twitter organised. And you have to expose these people for what they are. You know mm -hmm. you know there should be some councils in the area who might be vaguely you know sympathetic. Write to your MP. You know that is the most important thing to do. You know, there's loads of examples of headmasters and headmistresses resigning over, over various issues. Now, for example, um, what's his name? Um, I forgot the guy's name, but when um, they wanted to introduce uh, LGBT lessons into, uh, I, think, I think the primary school was called Smallwood uh, over in Birmingham. Birmingham, and, yeah. Yeah, most of, the, most of the parents got together and the guy resigned, you know. Mm. And um, but it, no, I, I saw the article, I saw some of the articles on that in, in the... Uh, in the uh, Daily Mail and Daily Mirror and what have you, and um, and it just struck me that the, teachers, you know, that the uh, parents were just whinging about it. They weren't <laughs> doing anything about it. Yeah. You know, um, you know, let's say in America, well, they, they seem to be sort of wanting to put critical race theory on, on the agenda over there, and they're doing this in Britain as well. Uh, by the way, rest assured that this uh, definitely happens over here as well. But what they oh, do yes. is school boards over there, the governors are elected. And what they do is they go go in there and vote out all the ones they did, they disagree with, and yeah. more often than not, the headmaster has to resign and they, and, and, and critical race theory isn't, isn't taught. Yeah, and, and and this is the thing, you know, we're now we're seeing um you know all this uh, white white privilege stuff as well with uh, with students, you know, 
um sure. you know you white <laughs> white privilege it, it, it's um you know this whole black lives matter thing you know if you don't send your yeah. kids to school you know you you'll get fined you know and your kids sure. spend eight eight hours of the day with these people and time yeah. your kids come home they might go out to play you know yeah. dinner and they go to bed them up so they're spending more time you know with these yeah. crazy loony lefties and they are with, with, with their own parents it's, it's um <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. I, I don't know where this is going away you know, you know, you know. Are they, are they all going to be like Denty, Denty, Kick, Jeremy Corbyns, and uh, Angela Rayners when 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 they leave the university <laughs> or whatever? You know, or eighteen year old. You know, we really got got really got a battle on our hands to, to make sure these things, uh, you know, don't come up, come about. But I fear at the moment we're, we're losing a bit of a bit of a we're finding a losing battle at the moment. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been asleep to it, really. I don't think a lot of people oh. have really realised what's been going on and, um, you know, and taking the back seat yeah. to people and they're like, you know, um, nah, that won't be happening. You're like, it is. Sure. Like, take a look. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people, if they really knew, sure. you know, what was going on, you like, yeah. as you said, people would get organised, you know, have groups and that. Sure. I think that's what, you know, needs to be done. People need to open their eyes and take a look as, yeah. as to what's going on. Well, it's, um, well, indeed, yeah, you know, for example, you know, for example you know, if I if I was if you want to be really nasty about it, what I what I would do, um, uh, you know, with, with that school, with that school in Lancashire that was doing the doing the vegetarian food, I'd go down there with with with, with ten pulls of the, ten pulls of the pie and chips. Right, lads, what would you like? That vegetarian crap, or how about a nice bit of nice bit of pie and chips? You know, and I've got ketchup and salt as well. If you want it? You know, yeah. You know, and you know, people will vote with their feet. Now, again, you know, in California, they, they, they impose a healthy, healthy diet on some of the kids over there, and fifty percent of the food was fr thrown away. And they would literally bring in their pizzas and and and, their, and, their, and the food they wanted to eat in with them to work in, in, into school. I should say, you know, but you know, we live in a country where people sit around whinging about something but don't do anything about it. Yeah, you're right, and that's a sad, um, that's a sad fact that you know, literally, I think. Um, so, so many people are saying just just asleep, yeah. just absolutely asleep mm. to uh, what's going on. Um, you know, I don't, Indeed, I, don't yeah. I don't have any kids myself, but if I did, and they were at school when this stuff was going on, as you said, you'd go down there yeah. and have a walk with the headmaster or the mistress, sure. whoever it be. Um, you know, sure. I'm, I'm straight, but um, you know, if you don't send your kids to these schools, sure. you'll get fined. Well, you know, you know, Plan B: go and speak to a solicitor. But I can't see any legal. Um, um, was it any legal reason why she can why, why, why she can impose her political and, and social idea, ideals on other people? Mm -hmm. I can't see legally how, how she how she can get away with it. Oh, and by mm -hmm. the way, what well, I remember, have you heard the latest outrage from Scotland on 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 on, 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 on children? Is this the if four, four year olds? Is, it, is this the four year olds? Is it? No, 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 no. no. If if you're age thirteen to fifteen years of age. And you're involved in a sexual relationship. The teachers are not obliged to tell the parents if they think it's, you know, a consenting relationship. Oh wow! I mean, she, Scotland, That's she's got, she's <laughs> she's got absolutely nuts up there, hasn't she? I know that they were doing she some sort do, of, yeah. uh, they were doing some some sort of education on um, anal sex with um, a lot of yeah yeah young, questionnaire, young you know, and stuff like that. Do you take up the arse? Yeah, tick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, really, really pushed it, aren't they? You know, uh, really pushed well, it yeah. out there. You know, um, you know, you know. Again, if if that, if that was my child, I'd go down to school, head restaurants, and say, if you don't tell me, you know, if my daughter's having a sexual relationship at the age of 13, 14 or fifteen, yeah, it's going to be hell to pay for this. You know, I you know, oh, yeah. I I I probably actually actually go, go. I would actually pay for a solicitor to look into it for me. Might cost you maybe five hundred quid a grand or whatever, but that's what I do. And if, you know, you've got to take these people to court and sort them out. And also, as well, go for me little process at school gates. Do it. And, and you're dead right. I think that's what needs to be done. People start, need to start taking action, and these people need to be held to account at the moment. You know, yeah. they've got a free reign. Do, yeah. So, you know, if people start being taken to court and schools don't want that kind of publicity, um, so yeah. they'll, shoot, they'll soon shut it down, won't they? You yeah, mentioned sure. there earlier about that school in Birmingham. And um, yeah. I don't know if many people remember the images from there. Um, sure. We had it was mo mostly uh, Muslim families that were there, if I remember yeah, was, correctly. Yeah. That was yeah, turned up there. Now, yeah. you know, the left, you know, are 
in sync with you know with with um, ethnic minority groups. They try to you know be the champion sure. of the, these groups simultaneously. You know they're yeah. pushing this like uh, this ideology that's dead dead against um, <coughs> their sure. religion. So for you know yeah. they're socially conservative Muslims yeah. anyway. They, they won't be putting up with any of that crap. So um, sure. Well, it is. well, surely, 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 it's the other way. Surely, surely, we we have we have two competing um, victim groups trying to you know trying to work out who, who's going to win the prize. So, <laughs> you know, you got the Labour Party you know, who, 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 who want, want all, all the boys to go to school in a dress, yeah. and uh, then, then you have that that the, the voter block. Like, apparently, ninety percent of Muslims vote Labour, and you have their you know ultra Islamic you know conservative uh, grouping <laughs> who are saying. We don't want to learn, learn, learn about gays in school, you know? You know, yeah. all, all, guys, you know, it's some clubs and guns. <laughs> Sort out amongst yourselves. When you tell me use one, come back and speak to me. Well, that's it. And, and that's exactly what it is. It's just, you know, they're, they're, they're going to eat themselves alive eventually, mm. you know, the way, the way that they're headed. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, they do. work out. That's right. So, well, oh, talking to, hang on, just very quickly, talking about, talking about that, um, uh, that, that Birmingham school, did you ever see the Sky interview on? Is that what the chap who said that women, women were made for man's pleasure? Yeah, or something? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I'm, su- I'm surprised Sky broadcast that. You said, you know, yeah. oh, you know, it's, it's, you know, being, being gay, it, you know, you know, but be, you know, what, what's this rubbish here? I've got two mummies, you know, you know, being gay is, you know, is against, is, it's against Islam, it's against, it's against it's my religion, you know, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, God created, God, God created woman for the pleasure of men. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> I see. I see, and you can imagine that going down down well with that lot. And you know, again, where are the feminists? Where are the the, the lefties? You know, calling this behaviour sure. out, or you know, they they won't say nothing to them. They won't want sure. to rock the boat. Sure. Um, well, you know, you know, if if you know, I, I, I've seen estimates of between one hundred <laughs> and uh, a million girls uh, in the last 20, 30 years have been raped. The, the million, the one million figure comes from um, Sarah Champion, Labour MP for uh, I think Rotherham, I think she's MP for. And the other one got us comes a guy called Peter. I can't remember his surname who wrote Easy Meat. He wrote a hundred thousand. Imagine if there were you know hundred thousand to a million white yeah. men in this country who are out raping Muslim and, and, and South Asian South, South Asian girls. They should be in the Guardian. Morning, noon, and night, 24 <laughs> 7, 365. You're nasty. You know, we proved our point. Yeah. You know, you're, you're all about a bunch of women, eight misogynists, you know? Yeah, it would be the never ending story. You know, you'd never hear it. No, no. And, you know, funny, funny you mentioned that because I, I was um, interviewed a few years ago um, at a protest in central London, and um, this chap was asking me questions about um, the, we well, can't mention his name, but TR. Yeah. Um, and basically about the grooming gangs. And I just said to him, you know, Sarah Champion is one of the people who spoke out about grooming gangs eventually, yeah. uh, writing a piece in, in The Sun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Labour MP, would you consider her far right? Um, you had nothing to say yeah. to that. And that part of the yeah. interview got cut out. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep the narrative up, you know. But, yeah. uh, no, you know, we, we, we live in a world, you know, you know, in the short term, I, apart from protests, there's really not a lot, lot, lot I can see. Um, you, know, the, you know, yes, yes, Prime Minister, uh, the, the TV program looks looks more like a documentary every day. Uh, right, you know, well, satire. And uh, you know, and you know, for example, you, you look look at the Chan- Channel Migrant Crisis at the moment. You know, Pretty Patel's the Home Secretary. Why can't she just order them to, to send them all back? Yeah. You know, and the ball they're all under her control. And what I'm saying is, if a civil service in this country doesn't want to do something, they have, have an ideology they want imposed upon the country or, it, or within public institutions, there's nothing, there's, nothing we, there's nothing elected officials can do. There's nothing really we can do about it. Yeah. So in the short term, this is not good. No, it's not. I mean, Richard Brain, um, former U, uh, UKIP leader, had a discussion mm. with him about this um, last year. Um, mm. was maybe a couple of years ago now, and he came yeah. up with an idea of saying, you know, we should, you know, take take them over to um, some some islands off the Falklands, the Sandwich Islands and the Faroe Islands, yeah. whatever it is out there, yeah, you know, and yeah. process yeah. them out there, and you know, see how they got on with the lovely weather, and see if, uh, <laughs> you know, sure. how, yeah. how many how many more would come over if they knew they were going to end up out there. Do you sure. know what I mean? 
Uh, but well, David, no, thank, I, thanks for your time. I yeah. have to pull it up there because um, we no problem. Well, thanks for the opportunity. Really, really appreciate it. And guys, let us know what you think. Do you agree with David uh, with, with what he just said? And do you think we need to be a bit more active? You know, um, at these schools and you know, and make sure these uh, lefty Marxist uh, teachers are held to account. Uh, make sure you comment below and let us know. Thanks again, David. Appreciate it. All the best. Cheers.